Um, TikToker claims utility companies are racist because white people's bills are cheaper. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a racist. <laughs> Whenever somebody starts it off like that, man. Doubt. <laughs> yeah, Don't extreme think. doubt. That's called a uh, a lie. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a racist. But it's just some things that I pay attention to very, very carefully that just rubs my skin the wrong fucking way, okay? Okay, so I'm at my patient house. And mind you, I've been to a lot of, you know, white, you know, people's. Has to take care of them. Right? Now think about it. She's a um. What do you call it? What do they call those people? Um, Yikes! Home health aid. Yeah, health aid. Yikes! Glider yeah. octogenarian strangler. My I mean, mom did this. Yikes! She's in oh. your grandmama's house. A whole racist. <laughs> I mean, a whole racist. Looking at her stuff, being like this bitch. Hate and just despising you for your just for living and just it, it that can think about how many ways that can express unconsciously let alone constantly just her unconscious hatred how she's dealing with the medicine whether she changed your your, your mom or whatever dad could be sitting in shit half the day and it's like you know what i'm saying or bed sores like there's so many things that you have to care for the person when you're a home health aide you know what i'm saying if you don't care if they could be on oxygen they could be in an uncomfortable position. They could, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of position things. Position for people you don't have empathy for. Yeah, exactly. Why do you, why do you think so many sun people gravitate to this job? Because it seems like there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot. I know like a lot you, you see like a damn like 22 year old sun kid, fucking taking working at a goddamn home health place or some shit or a nursing home. It's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, this is the best you could do, but at this age, but yeah, I mean, listen, and it, it is a maybe it's just a, a a field that um we can get into because it's you know it really think about it. I mean, what does it require, man? I mean, it's 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 kind of like being a nurse, high school diploma. Well, it's a, yeah. it, it requires a high school diploma or a GED and a uh, nurse's aid uh, certification. So okay, I mean, it is a, you know an actual exam that you have to take. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's a good job. Listen, it's a good job. Like I, I, I applaud people who do this that aren't fucking racist. But so many sisters are just inherently racist that it just it's just terrifying for me. If I was a glider, if I came to visit my parent and their home health aide was a sister. I I'd be, I'd be <laughs> yeah. not saying she's gonna strangle her or anything, but she just you know be she's not gonna you know it's because there's so many things they need. You know what I'm saying? They need the medicine on time. They need to be changed on time. They need to you know they can't change the channel on the TV. You know they can't. They got they're ornery. A lot of old people are ornery and they really curmudgeonly because you know their their hormones change. So when you get older, your hormones change. You become more gallerous. And more, um, you know, curmudgeonly. So, sister, probably from a white person, interprets that as racism. Yeah, Lord help you if you get ornery with a sister. You know, she ain't never gonna let you live that down. Yeah, white, you know, people's has to take care of them, right? And every time I check their mail, and you know, they open their bills, like their utility bill payments or house payments or whatever, it's always very, very cheap. Like their power bill will be like thirty to two hundred dollars, and all of the rest of the utilities. This will be dummy, like cheap. <laughs> this dummy has no idea, right? That when you don't live in the metro, that, that your utility bills and shit yeah. tend to be less. Yeah. They tend to be less. As soon as I moved out of the metro area, I lived. I moved into a larger home. And my utility mm. bills are less than they were when I lived in the metro. And other factors too, other than that, too. True. Like hey, what, insulation. What, yeah, How about insulation. having your house insulated and your yeah. windows sealed? Have we move new windows? New windows save a lot of um on, on, on that stuff. And and these are things that like are long term things. So some people, you know, they don't want to, you know things like that. She it went about it, man. So she's jealous about this. Imagine how many other things. This is such a weird leap to make. 
<laughs> oh, it's an easy one to make. It doesn't require any actual analysis. Of well, the it's easy to make if they're like desperately hunting for something to be like, you know. Yeah, but they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So it just demonstrates that. And there's probably one or two sun people on the planet that will push back, and it's probably both of them on this panel. Every other sun person here is, yeah, man, I knew it, man. I knew they were fucking with the power bills. That's why they got houses and shit. It's because they're yeah. making us pay for all of it, the mm-hmm. jobs we don't have. So not really considering that, like, you know, when he doesn't pay his power bill, he gets fucking cut off. And when she doesn't pay it, they're like, oh, well, we'll give you an extension because you're a sun sister. Yeah, she gets um, assistance from programs to pay that shit and all types of shit. Like cheaper and stuff. But this what gets me. They stay in these big mansion houses. They always have their lights on. Their power bill is cheap. Like every utility bill is cheap. And I'm like, I stay in a little ass two bedroom apartment and my utilities are like almost up to $500 every month. Yeah, well, he ain't got a hot comb. Hey, uh, can you tell me what, um, <laughs> like, what's the deal with some people saying they stay at a place? Like, yeah. Like they live there. I don't know if she. I mean, like she maybe she's renting. We're they renters, probably own that we're place. We're renters. We're renters, and on average, we're renters. A lot of sun sun lingo or sun slang is so honest. Like like a sun man will call his house the crib because in his mind he's still you know what I'm saying kind of oh, like shit. A, I never even thought about that. No, no. It, it, all our all our slang. We're being our honest. We're being we're being very honest. Listen to our slang. Listen to our slang. Like when some man talk about having sex, he talk about what beating it up, right? <laughs> Cause he ain't saying, you know, what I'm saying making love. Some man saying he gonna beat it up. So it, our slang is very, very, very honest. Like they call I'm a real nigga, and you a fake nigga. Like real nigga, I'm impulsive. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, hot-headed. I may be willing, um, to, willing to throw it all away. You a fake nigga. You're reasoned. You think long term. You uh um, you, you won't actually attack me if I fucking threaten you. <laughs> diluted yeah. versus undiluted. Yeah. So it's like our slang is where we show the most honesty. You know what I'm saying? So that stay is kind of like a sim- emblematic of that we're renters. We're not there yeah, to yeah, the long term. You know what I'm saying? Literally, I'm like, it's like I don't want to pull the race car, but I just noticed I have been noticing this pattern with every like white person house that I didn't came to. Like, their bills are like cheaper, but in the black community, our bills are like so high. You vote like, for it. Does anybody else not notice this? Like, Everyone notices it now that you said it because they're all gonna and, and there's there's been no study like her sample size is her bills, her mama bills, and these white people bills that live in these bitches. <laughs> yeah, conclusion hey, they know. do be charging us mo. And I don't, know if, they, I don't know if they do this in other cities, but in, in the one I just came out of, they actually round all of your bills up. And make you pay the rounded up figure, so they can take the the rounded up figures and pay other people's bills who are on the programs. Oh wow! Yeah, I I, I see that shit. Because then sometimes they'll you'll get like four, three or four months later a little credit for whatever that you know they stole from you for a few exactly months, exactly. They didn't even tell people they were going to start doing that shit. They just instituted that shit. Wow, that is. Crazy. Well, every sector of society needs to serve programs, you know, in some way. 